Hey little web buddies, I'm Pete D, the ladies choice, and this is the Times cast for Friday, April 21. Today we have shenanigans on campus and on stage, football at UVA, and first this. Valley View Mall has just announced 10 new tenants. Barnes & Noble Bookstore will be an anchor in the mall's new Lifestyle Center expansion. Panera Bread will also be part of the new lineup. So now Roanoke has the scones on lock. Yeah, boy. The mall's owner, CBL & Associates, said today that construction on the expansion will finish by the end of the year. The mall also confirmed that two previously announced restaurants will be opening, Caraba's Italian Grill and Abuelos Mexican Food Embassy. Out in Radford this Saturday, hundreds of drunken college students will stumble their way from house party to house party as the off-campus celebration of Quad Fest begins. But in a scheduling wrinkle, an odd combination of on-campus events will take place at the same time. Saturday is Highlander Day, when prospective students and their parents visit campus. It is also the annual Special Olympics Spring Games. And a group of campus ministries will host an afternoon of fellowship that day. No one, including the RU administration, the city police, and even the students themselves, is sure what will happen when these events all coincide on one of the biggest party days of the year for RU students. But I've seen the movie Animal House, and I think it's fair to assume that heavy paddling and pimples will ensue. You can hit the link for, for more. Now, lock a monkey in a room with a typewriter, the saying goes, and sooner or later he'll come up with Hamlet. So imagine what six actual playwrights might accomplish at Hollins University's Wyndham Robertson Library tonight. Their assignment? Write a 10-minute play by Saturday morning. The finished products, all six of them, will be performed at Mill Mountain Theater Saturday night. The event, dubbed Overnight Sensations, is a Mill Mountain Theater fundraiser. The theater, which has money woes, acts three plays from its current season in an effort to cut costs. Overnight Sensations. Now we do sports. The spring game has not been as big of a deal at UVA under Al Gro as it is at many others, including Tech. Still, Gro thinks it's possible to get 20,000 in the stands tomorrow instead of the 5,000 that came last year. Curiosity might help. Without Brooks and Parham on defense, the true fan will want to know what that side of the ball looks like. And it will be the first real look at new QB Christian Olsen. Now what do the skies hold for us? For the Cobra Snake AccuWeather, we go to local blues man and actual meteorologist Kevin Self. Hey everybody, this is meteorologist Kevin Self with your weekend blues cast. Hate to tell you, but this weekend's going to be awful rainy. We've got a chance of rain both Friday and Saturday. High's going to be about 74, 75 each day. And the low is going to be about 57. But the big thing you got to watch out for is those heavy downpours because it's really going to be coming down. There's also a chance of some thunderstorms, so make sure you got your umbrella around. So have a good weekend and keep the blues alive. Uh, this weekend, Rono got new movies, including American Dreams. So let's have us a look. Not another season, I beg you. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Everyone's ready for you, sir. Great, terrific. Okay, let's go. Welcome back, America. I am so delighted to be back with another exciting season of American Dreams. We have some amazing dreamers who are going to perform for you tonight. Only one will become America's newest sensation. Sally can do. Yeah. You've been selected to perform on the show. <laughs> You're gonna have to come out all over again because we didn't get it on camera. Okay. That's it for Friday. You can stay here and watch past casts, or you can leave me a special message. I'm Pete D, and I'm leaving. See ya. <laughs> Later, guys. Later, dude. <laughs> Bloody brilliant.